Good Monday morning to you folks. Hopefully you had a good weekend. Getting ready for work, <laughs> as I am. Getting ready to leave out of here in a few minutes. Um, chapter 4 of the book of James. I probably have spoken on this before. It was just on my mind this morning. And I, uh, you know, I know no one likes to be reminded of... Uh, of the day that they will pass. But I think sometimes we have to keep before us uh, the understanding that if we're going to do something, we need to do it today. The scripture says, Jesus says, work while, while it is day, uh, for soon night cometh when no man can work. And so if you're going to do anything, and especially if you're going to do anything for God, it's important to do it while you're healthy enough and while you're able to. And and so uh, we can say, well, I'll do it tomorrow, or I'll do it next week, or I'll do it next year. Uh, but the writer in the book of James reminds us of, of this fact. He says uh, in verse 13 of chapter 4, Go to now, ye that say, Today or tomorrow we will go into such a city and continue there a year and buy and sell and get gain. Whereas ye know not what shall be on the morrow. For what is your life? It is even a vapor that appeareth for a little time and then vanisheth away. For what ye ought to say is if the Lord will, we shall live and do this or that. But now you rejoice in your boastings. All such rejoicing is evil. Therefore to him that knoweth to do good and doeth it not to him, it is sin. So in a sense, talking of procrastinating as well. If there's something good that God has spoken to you about that you need to do, it's important that you take the time to do that. Can God use somebody else to fulfill that purpose? He can. He's not calling somebody else right now. He's calling you to do it. And uh, there's a, a no doubt a reason for that. I'm not going to claim to know uh, the exact reason why it is that he's going to use you. But I would say, in essence, if it's witnessing to someone, he's going to use you possibly because he knows the other person in their heart. And... Uh, how they will receive you versus how they will receive someone else. And so not only is your life but a vapor, but so is the life of the person that you need to talk to. And that job can only be yours. And I'll tell you something, folks. Satan makes it to be so scary. Oh, you don't want to talk to that person about God. You may be rejected. And true, you may be rejected. And at first we could say, well, they're not rejecting me. They're rejecting Christ. Well, let's be honest about it. Maybe they're rejecting both of you. <laughs> Maybe they're rejecting you and Christ. I don't know. But I do know this. They may reject you. But look at what Christ did on the cross for them and for you and for me. So whatever it is that God has for you to do today, I would say do it. Don't spin your wheels. Don't waste your time thinking I'll do it today or later today or tomorrow or, or next week when I see them. Maybe it is to, uh, to start a new ministry. Maybe it is to help in your community. Who knows? Maybe it is uh, for a new job, a new occupation, a new calling in life that God has for you. I know it's a strange thing, and I can't explain exactly how that it works, but when a man is a pastor, is a minister, and God calls him to a church, it's, a, it's just a strange feeling. There's a draw there, and of course, if it works on the other end, then it becomes a pastor. And I can also tell you there's a time when um, God leads a person away, and... Uh, Whatever it is that God has for you today, you better do it today. Because you're not promised tomorrow, not promised uh, next week, not promised next year. You've got it today. Uh, better use it the way you can use it. 
Well, let me try this song. Haven't sang it for a while. I don't know if I've ever done devotion on these two topics, but probably have. Didn't go back and look, but it's good for us to know that um, life is passing us by. And if you're sitting on the side of the road watching it, it's just like a parade. You just watch people go by, jump in there, and do what you can for God today. I swiftly passing by There are many things I need to do and say As I've often wondered If the role is called yonder Have I done enough for I can't beg, steal, or borrow one more tomorrow, so I'd better get ready for Jesus today. No, I can't beg, steal, or borrow one more tomorrow, so I'd better get ready for Jesus today. Time won't stand still for any man. And it seems like Father Time is on the run. And can Say that I'm done enough today. If today would be the day that Jesus comes, and if I'm turned away, I'll have no more time to pray. I can't beg still. One more tomorrow, so I'd better get ready for Jesus today. No, I can't beg, steal, or borrow. One more tomorrow, so I'd better get ready for Jesus today. Get ready for Jesus today. I know we had a little plaque hanging up on our wall at home whenever I was a kid, and I remember uh, uh, Brother Curtis Jones when. Uh, you'd be in service with him. He likes to to quote this too. Only one life will soon be passed. Only what's done for Christ will last. So whatever it is you're going to do for him, today is the day to do it, folks. Lord, we thank you for the opportunity to speak your word, Lord, to give some encouragement to folks on here today. And God, I pray that you would bless them, help them to be lifted and to be encouraged today, God. Um, you, here I am sitting in a little uh, room in Wheelersburg, Ohio, not claiming to be anybody, just understanding that there's a call placed uh, on my life and the lives of those that watch this, no doubt, to witness to others. And God, I'm just trying my best to do that. Lord, I pray that you will take these words today, encourage the hearer, help us not just to be hearers, but to be doers of the word as well. 
We love you, Lord, and we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, folks. See you Tuesday.